Joining us now for analysis on this very eventful first day in office for President Trump is Professor Jessica Levinson of Loyola Law School. First, let's talk about the continued attacks on the media. Is this strategy going to work and really what is the point of it? I hope it's not. The point is to totally discredit the information we're getting. So this is really troubling on a number of fronts. One is that, as we know, we as a society are struggling with what is real news and what is fake news. Now, when the press secretary for the president of the United States, this is not someone who is the press secretary for the RNC or for a private organization, but for the leader of the free world is putting out lies that is hugely problematic. What's the purpose of the press. I mean, we know from the, the founding of our country, you know, it was famous philosopher and historian Alex de Tocqueville that said, American democracy depends on a free press and the democratic experience fails without that. John Adams, our second president, said, freedom of press is freedom of national security. It's freedom of those who are represented by our government. If we fail to get real information from the leader of our government, uh, that puts, I think, the public in an enormously difficult situation, and it puts an enormous burden on the press to constantly fact check what they're hearing and to say that's simply not true. Right. And if you're being asked to believe one source versus many sources of news out there, that could also be very problematic, too. I, so the internet has done something wonderful, which is democratize information, and social media has done this too. But unfortunately, we give the same weight to, you know, John Smith Blogspot as we do to the New York Times or Washington Post. Now, it's typically been understood, though, that the press secretary, yes, they're going to spin facts in a way that's favorable to their boss, but still facts was at the basis of what they're saying. Now it looks like that can no longer be true. And what we're seeing from the press secretary is an incredibly combative tone that he's taking. Well, as President-elect Donald Trump had a pretty rocky start with his relationship with the CIA, with America's spy agencies, uh, his treatment of James Clapper, John Brennan, Admiral Mike Rogers, and James Comey created concerns about morale. In fact, ex-CIA Director John Brennan today in a statement said Trump quote, should be ashamed of himself for his speech at agency headquarters where he criticized the media today and talked about the crowds about at his inauguration. So what do you make of this? Well, apparently this made a number of uh, officials who attended this very uncomfortable because where was President Trump? President Trump was standing before a wall that commemorated fallen CIA officers. And the CIA is not supposed to be a political entity. U.S. intelligence is supposed to provide information, not based on any sort of partisan affiliation. And he took this as a moment to talk about the size of the crowds at his inauguration. And a, a lot of people, I think, were very turned off by this. It was an attempt to mend fences because he has, throughout the campaign, had a very, let's say, kind of troublesome relationship where he said, I don't believe the intelligence community when right. it says that Russian hackers tried to sway the election. I don't believe the, I think the intelligence community leaked this fake and damaging information about me. And so it was an effort to mend fences, but he politicized it in a way that, frankly, we haven't seen in the past. All right, Jessica Levinson, law professor at Loyola Law. Thank you so much, as always, for being here with us. We'll see you again very soon, I'm so. sure. <laughs>